Have I heard anything yet? Nope. Well, I know he's already skipped town. Well, I spoke to my mom. And Hannah, it's not up to your mom or you or me to dig him out of this. Is this everything? Yeah, mostly. I just have to find my English book. All right, I'll be out front. Hey, I was on my way to your place and I saw your car at the front. Where were you? Ah, uh, making phone calls. Hey, I was trying to track down a guy who helped me with the drywall. See if he can help, uh... Help with what? Back up your story? What's his cut? What? Caleb, don't do this right now. Hey, you should listen to your girlfriend. Oh, I am. And I believe her when she says this isn't the first time that you've stolen from that church. What are we talking about here? We aren't talking. We are done. Last night, you were my defender. What happened? I woke up, and I realized that this isn't the first time that you screwed me over. Oh, I see. I'm still that person, huh? Somehow, he managed to forgive your mother's sins. Don't suppose it's got anything to do with that fancy car she tossed at you. That has nothing to do with this. Maybe not. It's got to be easier to point a finger at someone with a rusty pickup and no permanent address. Isn't that all the proof you needed? All the proof that I needed were the ratty hand-me-downs that I had as a kid. Remember the winter coat that ended at my elbow? And the unsigned permission slips? And, and the social workers and the foster families who slammed doors in my face when they were tired of looking at me. That is my proof! Yeah. <sighs> well, when you put it that way, uh, I guess I wouldn't believe me either. Should I call the police? 